Hi, so I hope these end up showing up okay. It's a little more than normal, so my lighting on my little homemade studio thing here is not going to be quite as good, but um, the official leader group I'm on on Facebook for Operation as a Child, for those who lead groups in packing, um, had a question all over this year that if you look for so many who answered, you got a dozen plastic boxes. So I thought, well, I happen to be one of those, so I thought, well, I'll just do something fun and special with it. I thought I'd just do like theme um, boxes. Normally I do the 10 to 14 goals for the family, but I thought, well, I'll just do some different things here and um, it's just for fun to fill these up. So this is what it came up with. Um, I hope I remember what um, themes all of these are. And ages. This is a five nine boy. This is a train theme. Um, a lot of our family has been running trains over the um, decades and probably centuries, actually. Um, so um, I hope this Jacob saw someone donated really looked like I think that's what it's called. Nice. Looked kind of like train tracks. A little. We have a little train wind up train that goes on those train tracks. And um. A travel book I thought kind of and then this is a these are the Dollar Tree um Lego like bricks and that's in a train case and there's a little train I bought an extra little train at a store and stuck Lego type train and stuck it now that's compatible so they have a little train too. Um oh and there's a train plane notepad you can't really see it well but that's a really cute shaped um train plane pad of paper. Hold on. It's like this one, but this isn't the cup, the um, taxi one. Um, put that back before I forget to put it back in there. It's shoebox. Um, this is a bug themed one for Five Nine Boy. It had this like information about bugs thing, and um, what little boy doesn't like bugs? Um, the stuffed animals, they got a lobster and they told a puppet. And I had a couple of the other one that kind of looked like a flying bug hot wheel. And this is a, another little hot wheel I found that looked kind of buggy. I got lots of little bugs for him to play with or scare his siblings with. Uh, I actually saw that in one of the videos we showed at Trust Day. One of the kids said they're going to scare their siblings. I mean, this week, this year, they're going to scare their siblings with something they got in their box. A little bug thing. This I actually got on clean last year at Halloween. It's a pull back like Carl thing, but it's a bug. And a praying, well, it's not a bug. It's a praying and stuff. I don't know. And a praying, it's a spider bug. And a praying mantis, praying cards. And, oh, and these really cute clickers. There's like three different bugs. And that one isn't wanting to click now. Normally they click, but I might just send that because he has two other ones that do click, and that one you can just be to look at. Um, This is a five to nine boy space theme. A dog because dogs are in space. Um, planet ball, some little spacemen and flag, um, a bouncy ball too, um, a space pencil case. I thought that kind of reminded me of a telescope. Um, and a plane because you know, kind of a step towards space. Um, let me get my stuff back in my box here so I don't forget. This is a 10 to 14 goal, which actually I normally do, but this one is unicorn. We have a unicorn mask, we have a lot of unicorn stickers, unicorn stuffed animal, that's the sewing kit, um, unicorn coloring book, um, literally calculator, um, I think there was a couple other things that were unicorn. Um, so that turned out real cute. This is, hold on, got on what theme this is. Oh, this is construction. There's not a whole, whole lot of it, but I had this, like, pen with a little construction man on it. And the, this, um, Lego type kit also has a little construction vehicle kit. And just a yellow, that's just more like a yellow theme because I didn't have a whole lot of construction themed this year. I often do construction themed. This is an adorable little guy. He was a normally, he was originally in a little box. It's like a gift, like 15 bucks at, um, CVS, but I got him for... 90% off, so he's only $1.50, and I just thought he was adorable. So, this is a kind of Christmassy red dog themed box. And this is a lamb themed box. This is actually kind of in honor of one of my late grandmothers. Um, she really wanted us to have stuff to learn about the laundry house shop, which was actually something she had bought us. I don't think she ever actually got it to us. Um, she got some of it to us, and a lot of it she didn't ever get to us because she was trying to get it all um and 
also that tin. Um, and this is actually the stuffed lamb I had as a child. I did not play with it, it's new, you can see it still has a tag on it. I just like sat it up there and thought it was pretty. Um, and so I thought it was time for it to go get a new friend. And so that's kind of my, I think it's five to nine gold. And this is a five to nine gold panda. I've done pandas before. Um, so it has a really cute panda and a um, panda backpack. And then some black and white and pink stuff to kind of match. Um, that's five nine gold. This is five nine gold. This is ocean themed. Um, cute little bag. We had some. I had bought him a couple years ago. Okay, so I bought him when I was going to do him. I think he had some fabric that had totals on it. And I never got him sent and done. Um, but then one of our friends gave us this like little apron she had sewn and a seahorse to go with it. Well, flying seahorse. But anyways. And so I thought, well, I'll put that, I'll make a sea, I'll make an ocean theme. I did that, and I had this octopus um, puppet I really liked. So I thought, well, I'll put that in, and then the total happened to be near them, and I thought it looked like it wanted to go. So anyways, it went. And we have Crazy Eights and Go Fish playing cards that are ocean themed. And my aunt, I'm going to put the rest of these in um, 10 to 14 probably, but this just turned out so pretty and matched. These got me these, um necklaces to put in and I knew at that age I had a necklace a really pretty necklace I thought was really cool made me feel grown up so I put that in there and this is another five to nine goal this is like an Easter themed one now let's see over here I think I can there's these little finger puppets for the whole Easter story so there's that there's like a little Easter story book in there and like Easter jewelry and colors and stuff and I kind of pictured, well, who knows, maybe, you know, I've seen some pictures of the kids who received two boxes teaching. I thought, well, maybe they'll be able to use it to teach their friends or whatever about the um, story of Easter and Jesus. So I hope that'd be cool. This is my zoo-themed two-to-four boy box. Let me turn this light so I don't get blinded while I'm trying to film this for you. And some really cute stuff in, um, and stickers. We have a lot of stickers here jungle stick book with lots of different animals, a animal coloring book, we have a lion, and then like a paw print blanket, I still think you can see it, but I got all sorts of little different animals, um, figures so they could even set up the little zoo, and I have like a little visit the zoo board book in there, um, and then finally this is the five to nine goal, space one i just thought he looked good in space i don't know why and he fit well you know we have some space jewelry and there's a stow in this plastic craft kit and i thought that kind of looked spacey um and there's a pencil case just like the boy had on a globe and a um notebook that says amazingly brilliant looks like stars Anyways, just a lot of fun stuff that made me kind of think of space. So that's what I did with my dozen boxes. I think they told out real cute. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to know what themes you like to do.